Eight most effective games and apps to learn to type fast. Akina Chagyalaf Akina Chagyalaf is an entrepreneur, writer, and a content creator of travel and personal development blog Finding Fifth. Read full profile. Computers and cell phones have become an integrated tool in our professional and personal lives that the original methods of using pen and paper may not be so common anymore. Although our old school methods of note taking may not have entirely left us. Technology is advancing with no intention of slowing down, iPads are moving into service industries. Video calls are taking the place of in person interviews. And store receipts are making its way into our email inbox, all of which requires the skill of typing. Learning a new skill doesn't have to be boring and never had to be. Thankfully, there are effective games and apps that can help you learn to type fast with swift precision and accuracy. Although shaving several minutes from curating a long email or texting paragraphs in a text message may not seem to be of great significance, the minutes soon do eventually add up and the long list of tasks then evolve into frustration. By the end of the day, time is being wasted, and the work pile is stacked high over your head. Why not alleviate some of those frustrations through practice and dedicating your spare time to build muscle memory? Learning a simple skill set like speed typing can drastically improve other essential areas in life, including time management and prioritization. Not only does it help you efficiently complete tasks at work and in your personal life, but it also boosts your productivity. Everyone learns at different speeds and uses various methods. While some work better under pressure and tight deadlines, others thrive when given ample amounts of time to learn and soak in the knowledge that is being provided. Despite the number of resources that are available in the hollow corners of the internet, it's all about finding one source that helps you learn at your fullest potential. Whether you're a keyboard ninja or not, here are some effective typing games and apps that allow you to test your speed, accuracy, and maybe shoot some spaceships along the way. What's more fun than to type to the story of Alice in Wonderland or the lyrics to Hey Jude? Speed Typing Online is an online typing game that allows you to dive into the creative and familiar world of famous books, fables, songs, and even hone your skills in data entry. The bright blue frame holds the text, which then turns green after punching in the accurate keystrokes. After the end of the personal timer, a statistics page appears to show you your typed words per minute. Accuracy, correct and incorrect entries, and error rate. Typing Trainer is another online platform suited for beginner typists looking for step-by-step -step lessons. Learning the keys on a keyboard can confusing especially for those who aren't as familiar or getting adjusted to typing on a computer keyboard. Typing Trainer has a collection of step-by-step -step tutorials that covers everything from sentence drills, introduction to new keys as the lessons progress, and skills test. The Typing Trainer specifically highlights unique features in each lesson including a warm-up section where the user begin to build muscle memory and learn to type without looking at the keyboard. The website is also programmed to identify difficulties the user is facing when typing specific words or sentences. There is the feeling of physically typing on a keyboard and then there's the feeling of typing on a touchscreen mobile device. Since the use of cell phones has become closely integrated into our everyday lives, learning to type on a mobile is much of a skill set as it is to type on a computer. The mobile typing app, Tap Typing, Typing Trainer, allows users to practice while on the go making it perfect for commuters who want to practice typing during their downtime. The app allows you to challenge other typists around the world with Tap Typing's global leaderboard and test your skills by taking advanced lessons. There's always room for improvement and with the app, you'll be able to find your mistakes by watching a heat map of your finger strokes. Suitable for writers facing a creative block or on a tight deadline. The most dangerous writing app is a website that forces your fingers to type as quickly as your ideas. Sessions are timed from 3 minutes to 20 minutes, or can go from 75 to 1667 words. This online app is perfect to brain dump ideas write a chapter of a manuscript you've been stuck on, or help with procrastination. If you're up to the challenge, try the hardcore mode, an alternative option where a single letter appears on the screen at a time. This level prevents you from seeing the entire word. 
sentences, or even correct any spelling or grammatical mistakes until the timer is complete. Looking to upgrade your typing skills. Also working as a personal tutor. The Typing Cat has a list of regular typing courses with the option to try other lessons with more complexity such as HTML. Learning to type code is another valuable skill set worth adding. Even with disregarded interest in the coding world. Using the code course enhances your typing skills and allows your fingers to familiarize itself with uncommon word combinations and placement of punctuations on a keyboard. The coding course can be difficult even for typing wizards. But it's all a part of muscle memory. According Psychology Today, only a handful of people actually learn how to type by looking at an actual keyboard. While a majority of the population locate specific keys intuitively through muscle memory. Remember playing the iconic 70s game that allowed you to shoot tiny purple and green aliens from one end of the screen to the other with a two-bullet laser. It's hard to believe that Space Invaders just turned 40, but you can still get the same adrenaline rush with Stipe. A typing game with the same shooting concept. Stipe works in waves, stages that must be cleared but instead of aliens. You must type out the words before the missiles destroy your ship at the bottom of the screen. Every so often, longer and more complex words would appear and if the words are not typed in the allotted time, a series of letters will disperse like missiles. Although this game does cost money to purchase, it is worth the investment if you're looking for a refreshing and alternative mode to learning how to type fast. Tapestry Typing Chronicles is a role-playing action and adventure game of a young girl riding a fox in a magical and fictional realm, together they combat enemies in the shapes and forms of words. Once you're started it, you almost forget you're playing a typing game. The papercraft art aesthetics of the game has you captivated by the vibrant colors and characters storyline, while having you build your typing skills. Daily Quote Typing is one of many games available on wordgames.com, a website that offers a variety of typing games ranging from different levels based on your experience. With Daily Quote Typing, users are able to type out inspirational quotes by famous leaders, inventors, and innovators such as Mark Twain and Albert Einstein. At the end of the day, discipline and patience is what teaches to type faster. It comes down to making that commitment to improving not only your typing abilities, but in a lifelong skill that benefits other areas in life. By practicing daily and using effective games and apps, it's only a matter of time before keystrokes will become second nature and your brain will adapt to learning other skills faster. Akina Chargyalaf is an entrepreneur, writer, and the content creator of travel and personal development blog Finding Fifth. One of the most crucial aspects of our lives is the ability to learn. We often take this skill for granted since not many of us pause and think about our learning process. In fact, if we did, we would probably uncover that we engage in ineffective learning mechanisms. Think about it. Has your learning helped you recall things you learned last month? Go back a year and ponder. A lot of how we learn was tucked away in school. Our exposure to school learning is the basis of how we learn moving forward. However, over the past few decades, learning has evolved into different stages of learning. And that becomes the main issue. No longer are we looking at examinations of people's characteristics about understanding and learning. Instead, scholars have created learning processes that use materials that support our interactions with others and our goals. As a result, we can learn new things more smartly and effectively, which will be covered as we proceed further in understanding the learning process. In his book Outliers, The Story of Success, Malcolm Gladwell states that the key to success is for us to practice 10,000 hours on a specific skill. It's also worth noting that the skill needs the correct learning direction. If you're learning how to do something the wrong way, you'll continue to use it the wrong way. But before understanding the learning process, we must understand the stages of learning. Written in the 1970s, Noel Birch created a model called the Four Stages of Learning. You never heard of the skill or had a desire to learn of it until that point. This is the first stage, you know nothing about it. Driving a car is a perfect example. Before this stage, you never felt the need to learn how to drive. Nevertheless, once you became of legal age, you had to study to get your license. 
you likely made several mistakes on the driving test as well as during the written test. By this stage, you know pretty much everything you need to know. At the same time, though, you are also aware that you need to focus and concentrate on what you are doing. This stage can be that you know the rules of the road and can drive well. However, you feel you can't talk to anyone, play any music, or look away from the road. You feel like you need total silence to focus and concentrate on driving. At this stage, learning can be even slower than the previous stages. The learning isn't consistent, nor is it a habit yet. By this stage, you've made it, you know everything in and out about the skill. It's become a habit, and you don't need to concentrate. You can relax and let your unconscious mind take over. While Birch only covered four stages, there is another stage that exceeds it. This is the flow or mastery stage. You may have heard of something called a flow state. It's the mental state where someone is performing an activity and is fully immersed in it. They feel energized, focused, and get a sense of joy from doing this activity. Flow or mastery can stem from all kinds of activities like writing, reading, jogging, biking, figure skating, and more. It's also characterized as complete absorption in what you're doing, making you unaware of space and time. Another aspect of the learning process is the types of learning. While every person goes through those stages of learning, how we learn is different. Having covered four learning styles in four learning styles to help you learn faster and smarter. I'm recapping the different types of learning in psychology. You may be asking why all of this matters and actually how we learn plays a significant role. How we internally represent experiences stems from how we learn. What we learn not only establishes how we recall information but also impacts our own word choice. It also influences which part of our brain we use for learning. Researchers uncovered this through various experiments. For example, say you're driving to a place you've never gone before. How you learn will determine which method of learning you'll use. Some will ask people for directions, while others will pull up Google Maps. Some will write the directions out, while some won't and merely follow street signs. Knowing how to learn to this depth is vital because once you know what style you use, you can then develop a learning process to be a more effective learner. The learning process varies from person to person. Generally speaking, though, consider the following steps and considerations. Learning doesn't only require that we learn information, but to retain it, if we are to learn something, we will have to learn and relearn. This means recalling and having a sharp memory to keep that information. Improving our memory can range from a variety of things. From memory palaces to practicing other memory improvement tactics. Learning a new skill takes time. But there is nothing wrong with learning a few other things. International Journal of Science, Nature, Changes in Gray Matter Induced by Training reported that those who juggled between learning different topics increase the gray matter which is associated with visual memory. While we have our own Goto style, delving into other types and stages of learning can be useful. If you learn by listening to podcasts, why not try rehearsing information verbally or visually? It will not start great, but by improving your skill to describe what you learned orally, you are further cementing the knowledge in your mind. Judy Willis, M.D., M. Ed. in her publication on Review of Research, Brain-Based Teaching Strategies for Improving Students' Memory. Learning and test-taking success states how the more regions we keep data stored, the more interconnection there is in the collection information that we later process. It doesn't have to be in a tutoring situation, but this method is still a reliable way for two people to grow. Regardless of learning styles, we retain the information we tell others more effectively than if we keep it to ourselves. Was there a random fact you told someone a few months ago? You are more likely to remember that information because you brought it up to someone. A typical example of this is remembering someone's name. You can better recall that person's name if you associate that name to something or someone familiar. Nothing beats learning than trying it for yourself. Sure, seeing information does have its strong points and most learning styles benefit from exposed information. There is something to be said about getting your hands dirty. The learning process is not perfect. We'll forget at certain points. If you ever struggle to remember something, 
make a point of going back to your notes. This is key because if we try recalling, we risk ourselves learning or relearning the wrong answer. And again, there is a difference between learning the right way and the wrong way. While this step may seem odd, there are benefits to testing yourself. Even if you think you know everything about the topic, going back and testing yourself can always help. Not only does testing improve our recall, but we may realize that we learned a concept or task incorrectly. That knowledge can enhance our effectiveness in the future. While we should be learning new things all the time, we shouldn't be trying to do several tasks at once. We ought to focus on one activity at a time before moving on to other tasks. By trying to multitask, we are learning less effectively and are only hindering ourselves. Check out how multitasking is merely another way of distracting ourselves. Psychologists define learning as the process of a permanent change in a person's behavior resulting from experience. The understanding of the learning process is up to us. But to consider the bigger picture, be aware of what style works best for you, and work to improve it while enhancing other learning styles. The only way we can advance a skill is to learn continuously. Even in the skills you have mastered, there are always new developments. You can learn more about how you can cultivate lifelong learning and attain an edge in every niche that you get associated with today. Gordon Training International, The Four Stages of Competence Habits for Well-Being, Flow, The Secret to Happiness, Mihai C. Sixcent Mihaly Training Industry, How the Brain Learns International Journal of Science, Nature, Changes in Gray Matter Induced by Training Judy Willis M.D. M. Ed. Review of Research, Brain-Based Teaching Strategies for Improving Students' Memory, Learning, and Test-Taking Success. Text Source, Lifehack.org.